JFlight 174BH here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, 2,930 pounds. So um, there's going to be those people who have that 3,500 pound tow rated uh, like SUV or minivan. Technically, this is within that capacity. Understand, by the time you have this thing loaded, you're going to be right at that peak capacity of what you should be towing. If your vehicle is rated to tow 3,000 pounds, this is already too big. Not a lot of guys are going to have that conversation with you, but we like to keep families safe. There's other campers we can put you in that are going to fit within your weight range. You just got to give us a call. Speaking of which, if you're ever curious to know how much this little critter runs or uh, the equipment that might be present on it, tank capacities, links, things like that, right down here there's one link that says check for price and availability. One click away from answering all those questions yourselves quick and easy. We try to publish everything we can to make this simple for you. So. There are now more of these little mini campers than I think have ever existed. It's become a serious market. So, well, case in point, here, here's another one parked right over here. You know, they come rolling in like crazy and they go out just as quickly. They're super popular. They're lightweight, they're small and easy to handle, they're easy on the price tag. But every single camper has its own set of advantages. That's why you see so many different name brands here. But this is this video is about this camper where does this one shine and excel within its class that's what i want to focus on first thing is warranty it has twice the warranty of anything else in its class that's huge that's huge guys jaco is willing to put twice as much of their money on the line to say that this thing is built right and gonna hold together that's cool um not all campers within this class have tinted windows that's an area manufacturers can save money nor do all campers in this class actually even have windows that open for ventilation so there's two things right here the tinted windows give you privacy and they keep the rv cooler by the way they open up storage wherever they can baggage doors uh actually are a uh, a fairly expensive item in the rv world now when you look inside here you see real wood you see that plywood bed deck. You're not going to see a lot of like OSB and particle board around here. You're going to see superior materials like the fact that this has 100% LED lights inside and out. That is another best in class feature. A lot of trailers nowadays have LED interior lights, but you still have traditional exterior bulbs that can burn out on you. Um, you know, the uh, these are just more reliable. You know, your camper, a little camper like this usually sits behind the garage or, you know, in the barn until you're ready to go camping. And it's nice to know that all the lights and things are working. You don't have to do this big, expensive, or fancy pre-trip inspection replacing pieces and parts every time before you go camping. It's just going to be there to take care of you. That's the whole point of, you know, buying a camper. I want something that'll just be there when I need it. Um, the front window here, pretty common in this class. Jayco's is wider, however, and they do still include a front weather shield where a lot of brands do not. You see that they also include a diamond plate where most brands do not. So a lot of little, it's little details. There's generally speaking, uh, if you're looking at a Jayco, it's never like, here's the one glaring overall reason you should look this way. It's a bunch of little things, like the fact that they have galvanized steel blowout guards in case this belted radial busts loose on some, uh, you know, sharp debris going down the road. I hope you never, never have to worry about that, but that's a literal silver colored lining to an otherwise dark cloud. That's also why uh, there's a spare tire on the back of this. That's not a thing that a lot of little campers will put on there. You know, the, uh, the little detail stuff, the imperceptions that you can't see. Uh, the fact that where they use the darker metal, that's actually a .03 thickness aluminum versus a .024. What that means in English, where it's darker, they use a thicker metal so that it fights heat expansion and contraction because that's right against the roof line. If that expanded and contracted a bunch, you'd have a leak. So they build the materials to stop that from happening. That's what I like about this. Um, best in class, 18 gallon per hour water heater. Literal exact same water heater and capacity as a 35 foot two slide bunkhouse J flight. They don't skimp on materials. They do the things that matter. This is, you know, if you've got three or four people gonna take a shower back to back, you need the better water heater. Those things are equipped on here. Um, it's all these little things that lead up to the fact that JFly is and has been the number one selling trailer in North America for like 11 going on 12 straight years. It's absolutely absurd how unprecedented and uh, undefeated they are. Power awning, by the way. That's another best-in-class feature. I've now seen uh, a few other brands start to copy that. You can thank Jayco for it. They're the ones that came up with power awnings in this little class. Again, simple, easy, better. You know, that's the idea behind it. You can make something better without making it crazy. And a lot of times, better usually means more expensive, and that is not the case with these. Because they standardize the, the, the factory production of 
all of this basically this is pretty much how they just all look they're able to control the cost and keep it reasonable now uh, Jayco uses 50% thicker bed matting than industry standard in floor plans like this um, you may have noticed like I mentioned a lot of people will store these like in a barn or a garage that is why we don't upgrade to a larger roof mounted AC on these because it would increase the interior height our exterior height, pardon me. Now we have other brands that have the bigger AC. This is an 8,000 BTU. It's more than enough for a little box like this. A lot of brands actually have a standard 5K side mount. This is an eight standard. So they're still bigger than industry standard. Standard? That's a lot of standards. Anyway, windows, windows, windows everywhere. You can look at some salesman legs over here and laugh at him. That's Joe West right there. He's a good guy. He has no idea we're staring at him right now. That, if he ever sees this later, he'll feel weird about it. So they're including overhead storage here where a lot of brands don't. And even though this is the smaller series of trailer, everything's still built the same as the big J flight. We have screwed cabinetry, not glued, not stapled. It's not going to wiggle loose. Uh, just like this has a full walk on roof deck that not a lot of uh, little campers have. Uh, I don't, I don't want to name names here. If you search my YouTube channel, you're going to see some examples of what I mean. There are some scary, scary built stuff in this little class. Uh, and amazingly, a lot of that stuff actually costs more money because it's a huge profit center for those companies. You have to look out for that. TV hookups on a nice countertop space here. This is a propane and electric fridge, by the way, so you do always have a way to keep your drinks or your food cold. You don't want the mayo getting old on you, obviously. You don't want that get, to get spoiled. Big lower cabinet. Good upper cabinet right up here. Now, what's nice, too, is you got this centrally located either pantry or linen cabinet or whatever you need it to be. It is and can be. It even goes all the way down to the floor there. This has a full dry bath. That's where the toilet is not in the shower. You actually have a nice foot flush there, and you have both a skylight and a power vent fan up there. You have both. And there's, I mean, I didn't even have the lighting on there. You don't need it. Again, 50% thicker bedding so that the kids are going to sleep well. The kids sleep well, they're not annoyed, and they're not picking at each other all day. If they're not picking at each other, then they're not annoying. They're not annoying. Mom and Dad have a good time. And buddy, ain't that the reason for this whole adventure right here? So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We only do everything. Hitches, pieces, parts, financing, trades, delivery. Doesn't matter. Give us a call. We'll make it happen. Literally, the only thing you have to lose is the potential of thousands of dollars. So if you'd like to save some money or make sure you're getting a good deal somewhere else, all you got to do is call. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.